It's a hospital drama unlike any you've seen. Saving Hope is about husband and wife surgeons who get into a car accident on the way to their wedding. So they're actually fiancés, but he falls into a coma, and that doesn't stop his spirit from roaming the hospital halls. It premieres tonight on CTV, starring Erica Durant, Michael Shanks, and Daniel Gillis. And I recently got a chance to sit down and speak with them when they were in Toronto. We're getting married. You're so beautiful. Radiology doctor. He's the chief of surgery. He's been unconscious for 37 minutes. Wait a second. Anyone hear me? Alex, there's nothing you can do. I'm not leaving him. You're nice and cozy here. You're kind of cozy in the show. There's the current, there's the former flame, and then there's you, Alex. That's right. Aren't I lucky? <laughs> <laughs> so an interesting plot line set in a hospital. You, you two were together. You have a terrible, crazy accident. You're in a coma, but you are traveling around the hospital, so mm -hmm. to speak. When you first read a plot line like that, I mean, and I'll, and I'll ask you this, Michael, because it's, I mean, you're in a coma, but you're a central actor in this. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think of the script? Oh, no. <laughs> uh, kids don't do that. Um, I know it was, I just thought it was, what was really interesting about it is it, it's that concept and that perspective that I think was what really drew me to the show period and it kind of still does be not because um, the rest isn't interesting just because it adds an entire other layer that most shows don't and can't and it adds this spiritual layer it was it was it's wonderful to play uh, the, the the love story as well to play this guy who's desperate to get back but at the same time and in the, in the meantime is able to we're able to see this whole flip side of you know, not just life in the hospital, which is what a lot of medical dramas show us, but life a little bit beyond the hospital. And Daniel, you played Joel, and you're um, I kind of, I don't want to say cocky, but you've got confidence. And you come in there, you're the former flame. <laughs> and then, I don't know, would you? Okay, you describe, you describe your character. Well, Joel's uh, an orthopedic surgeon. He somehow managed to wrangle himself a deal with this hospital uh, in order to be able to sort of conduct some of his own research. He's taken a bit of a pay cut uh, coming here. He's, uh, he, his former lover is working there, played by the wonderful Erica Durance. Well, you chose Erica to be um, in the script. You read the script. You liked it. It's, it's a hospital drama. I mean, it's, that might be a simplistic way of describing it. It's much more than that. But um, given the success of previous hospital dramas, was that a plus for you, or did you worry about that? You know, I didn't worry about that because I think that there's something, there's a reason that we as part of the human race keep going back to that there's so many of them because we're fascinated by that, that whole experience, mm -hmm. that whole life and death tragedy, what would you do? And, and I think that what I loved about this show is that it finds that balance. It isn't focused in the tragedy. It's focused in the human spirit. It's focused in gratitude for life. It's focused in searching for, for hope for balance, for gratitude, and whatever you believe in, let's talk about it, let's make it a, a discussion, let's, let's see what's out there. And so it, it has all these great nuances. You have to grieve, and not that, Michael's not dead, he's in a coma, but you have to grieve and play that character that's grieving and yes, still has to go on. Challenging? Yes. I was speaking about this the other day. She has a stunt griever. Stunt griever? <laughs> <Stunt -breaver? laughs> yeah. There's somebody who... incredible, by the way. It's tough though, right? 15 hours. It's not, it's not bad, right? Really. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's one of those things that for somebody who... Maybe that's why I was drawn to it, because I myself... Um, in my life look for all the joy and all the positive and like I, I like all the quirky and the comedy and the, the, the laughs I like the, the crazy stuff so I didn't foresee that you know it's mm -hmm. strange when you pick up something you're like oh this is great then you're starting the series and then you're working you're like whoa whoa there's like there's no way I can like go out for a breather and go out for drinks or anything is in a coma so you end up in this situation of trying to find a balance and it does it has its really heavy moments and I was laughing I was, I was working with Michael the other day and it was supposed to be like less emotional and I sat down in the same room and I couldn't stop crying seriously I, was like, I can't stop I can't stop it was like some kind it's of a, it's a strange it's a strange thing uh, Emotional usually response with, usually weird. in terms of linear storytelling you you start in a certain place and you build up 
to this. Yeah. Where she starts is it's way there. up here. It's like, well, where do you go from there? And it's about finding and what I think has been interesting to watch her go through, and, and she's been doing wonderfully at it. He was lucid right before it happened. It was probably an epidural bleed. You need a respiratory therapist. Let's go. 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 Let's